But right now we move on to another story, a serious one. A new tuberculosis treatment targeting the drug-resistant strain of the disease is soon to be trialled in Port Elizabeth. Researchers from Wits University, in partnership with the Health Department and USAID, will be conducting this trial. And the research team aims to conclude this project by 2022. The World Health Organization estimated that in 2017, 322,000 South Africans actively suffered from the disease. A first for South Africa and the world. The new treatment is expected to slash treatment time frames while minimizing side effects, which include hearing loss and weight loss. The trial will be conducted at the Impulweni TB Hospital in Port Elizabeth. It's going to be a series of drugs, I believe it's five, that will be administered to a controlled group of about 200 volunteers. And then over the course of the next four years, the researchers will be able to determine whether or not this new treatment is successful and then what the side effects are. And then the, uh, the National Department of Health can make a decision about whether it wants to roll this out as a new way of addressing the problem of dr drug-resistant tuberculosis. Drug-resistant tuberculosis is also on the rise globally. Every year, 16,000 drug-resistant TB infections are diagnosed in South Africa. This experimental medicine targets drug-resistant TB. It's, the design is called a non-inferiority design, which means we're comparing what people normally get to the new regimen and we're making sure that they're about the same. I'm expecting that the new regimen will actually be more successful because it's shorter and it's got less, less side effects. So we recruit from the clinics, we work together with the Department of Health. So we're grateful for the USAID for this funding and we can work with them. Medical professionals in the field believe the new treatment combined with the existing treatments will be a breakthrough in the fight against TB. Every year 54 million people develop active TB globally. The World Health Organization estimated that in 2017, 322,000 South Africans actively suffered from the disease. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth. And of course, World Tuberculosis Day was commemorated on Sunday and South Africa is marking this day, uh, continuing with its efforts to reduce the incidence of TB. The World Health Organization estimated that 322,000 South Africans uh, who actively suffer from the disease and that was in 2017. But that number is significantly less from the 500,000 TB sufferers in 2011. And the Eastern Cape has the highest incidence rate in the country and it's at 692 people per 100,000 as in back in 2015. And World TB Day will be commemorated in Mdansane near East London today. And as part of the TB Day commemorations, the health department is embarking on a program to provide TB-related services to workers in the taxi industry at taxi ranks. And we cross over now to our reporter, Lubaba Lodata, who is at the highway taxi rank in Mdansane. Lubabalo, good morning. Good morning to you and to the viewers at home. As you might be aware that access to health care services remains a major challenge, especially for the rural communities of the Eastern Cape. As a result, most of them end up there. All right, uh, just the problem with the sound there to uh, Mdansane. We'll go back to that uh, shortly because this is a very important event. And uh, looking at TB and the number of killings uh, that occur as a result of this worldwide, it is still at crisis proportion. But it's good to see the South African government taking this seriously. We'll take a break and then we'll come back and try to touch.